Alrighty, well, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody, and it's cast time once again. And, um, this, I'm kind of er pretty early doing this. It's 2.42 a.m. right now. Usually I try to, get, usually I try to do these around 3 a.m., but, um, reason being, this is going to be kind of a double header. It's going to be part cast video, or video. It's going to be part cast and part, um, exercise tier list. Um, I'll explain more as the cast goes on. But, yeah, so this is going to be a fairly long one here. And then, um, let me uh, intro this music. Uh, this is going to be Ashcan, your self-titled self -titled album, um, which, now that I think about it, yeah, this the, the album cover here does kind of resemble an Ashcan a little bit. All, I, all you need now is the, uh, the Cigar Boss from Cuphead. It's like right here in the middle. So they got a sense of humor. Let me check the volume real quick. Okay. So, and um, the YouTube comments is referring to this as uh, Morrowind synth, like uh, big Elder Scrolls Morrowind. I've never never seen the game, never played it. I've only heard the name, but from what I've heard from what I've heard of this, I might actually check it out. It's pretty good stuff. And uh, let me go ahead and loop it. And, uh, if this music does go, or if, man, if this video does go over long, I'm not, that's why I've got it on loop. Okay, so, um, to start with, for the most part, just pretty much just being a lazy slob, just watching random stuff, nothing too committal. Um, I think a I think I ended up taking a couple of naps as well. So, um, one thing I did do during my stream though is uh, I fired up some Rivals of Aether. It's one of my all-time favorite fighting games, but unfortunately, I burned on on it from probably from playing it so much. That uh, online is uh, pretty much a no-go for me. I, I think I I might have explained why on yesterday's cast video, but it's probably for a for the same reason that uh was it was also one of the factors that was burning me out on uh, Windjammers 2. It just it's got a really bad matchmaking system. So. But um, I guess Rivals of Aether now has rollback netcode, which might have been one of the reasons why I stayed away from online on that game. Um and then uh what else? And they got some uh, new characters as well. I just went in there and checked them out, but I was only playing it for about like, like a couple hours. And it, it's definitely not a game I'd want to play anymore, except a little, excuse me, except a little small spurts, just too burnt. Like I said, uh, my all-time favorite 2D fighter, Footsies, is kind of like that as well. I've burned out on that game from playing it so much, but uh, not as much as Rivals of Aether, like. I'll still, I'll still uh, make a video once in a very great while. So it's it's a game that I really do come back to from time to time. And then, play some more Rev 2. Um, I am going to admit that I am starting to get better at this game. Um, those that have seen my other streams, I was using what's called, uh, called st uh, Stylish Mode, where the game has uh, one-button specials, which is really what I'm wanting out of it. And then there's uh, auto combos, which I don't really need. And then there's uh, and then there's auto blocking, which I definitely don't need that. In fact, uh, every time I know, every time I see me auto blocking something, I always die a little inside. I mean, I, I guess another way of looking at it is uh, if uh, personally, I would rather I would rather just take the hit from my opponent than have the game auto block for me. Well, like I said, I I always uh I always cry and die a little inside whenever the auto blocking kicks in. So. Uh, but uh, one thing I did do uh, later on, I just. Totally on a whim is uh, I fired up uh, them fighting herds. It was a, uh, it was a game that uh, I played briefly, but 
it's kind of like, uh, it just, I just wasn't feeling it. And no, not because it's a, not because it's a My Little Pony themed game. I mean, it's there, but it, I mean, it wasn't enough to make me go, oh my god, oh my god, I can't see this game anymore, or anything like that. I mean, so, but, um, but anyway, let, in fact, I, um, I do, uh, I do have the game fired up because I think this is a game that I've never demoed before. So. Oh. One other, um, uh, I mean, one drawback to this game. I'll go ahead and look at it here, but I don't, I don't want to get too, too far into it. That's why. Yeah, um, uh, hoping you guys can see it. Yeah. My, uh, I need my, uh, window, I need my uh, window res to be, like, 1360 by 700. I mean, 1360 is perfect, but I need the, I need the window at 700. Because, because the 65 is going to get, up. Uh, Blocked out by my taskbar because I I can't do full screen on these. So yeah, so I gotta go with 1024 by 576. So the window that I'm looking at is pretty small. tutorial kind of like um oh god what do I want kind of like a uh, rev 2 there's like a whole shit ton so yeah like like I said a lot You pick. Yeah, I just, I just go with llama. Um, seems the closest thing to a grappler. They're all just. Plus, it's kind of big and dumb looking. So, like I said, the closest thing to a grappler that I can find. It's a way to show the, um, uh, the, there it is, virtual stick. One good thing about this is, uh, if you do it wrong, it automatically restarts your position. You ain't gotta do anything. This is an absolute bitch. Whoop, wrong one. Just barely. But, oh, that, that's what I was wanting to show. Um, 
the basic combo system in here that you're seeing, this was taken from uh, Guilty Gear Rev 2. Possibly uh, earlier versions of Guilty Gear as well. It's called the Gatling Combo. It's a basic combo that everybody has. Oh, oh, oh. crap yeah hold back I think it hold down and back as well Anyway, um, yeah, I think I was trying to say that too. You don't have to go straight back. You can go down back. You can even go off, uh, um, jumping back too, as long as you're going back in some direction. She should show the jumping too. Yep. Yep. Pick Paprika Velvet Savings of World Never. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a little bit here, but I got to bail after this. Yeah, she's got a scorpion teleport, too. Like I said, this is a this is a kind of game that I only play for short periods. Oh, and this is something else I wanted to show too about this game. I don't think any other fighting game I played has this. But um, on the downside, though, you're uh, you're stuck with one character. Unless there's other stories that you can unlock, but I'm guessing uh, you have to complete this story mode in order to do it. Yeah. Yeah, so there is a bit of a there's a bit of a bit of adventure RPG in here.
But, uh, I'm guessing a dead end here. But anyway, you kind of get the idea here. It's just, there's also this mode as well. And then, um, if I was to run into those black wolves. Yeah, but if I was to run into any of those black wolves, it'd be a battle. So. Okay, but. Just gonna go ahead and kill that. But like I said, like I said, it's. It's got that. Um, it's also got some platforming as well. You know, kind of like, kind of like Metro. One of the Metro, one of the Metroid Mania games. You, know, you gotta hop it around and all that. So. <sighs> okay, but uh, otherwise, I think that's gonna do it for the uh. Or the cast portion. So, like I said, um, last night I was wanting to do one of these, but the thing of it was is uh, the stuff that I was looking for, I actually typed down exercise in the search box, but uh, I was getting a lot of uh, tier lists that uh, the thumbnails are like really super small, and on top of that, they they didn't actually write down what they what they were, so. I couldn't tell what was what, but I went instead. I went ahead and typed down workout, and um, I actually had even slimmer pickings. But luckily, I found one that that was actually doable. Although there's like I think at least one exercise I can think of that they don't have in here. I'll uh, I'll, me I'll mention it after I go through this. But, uh, and again, like I usually do, the top stuff is fucking S tier. And then underneath, it's a good solid exercise. Um, and these two yellows, this one here, it's fucking S tier, but there's a big time drawback to it. And then, it's alright, it's just like this, but on Ritalin. And then down here are the bad ones that I can't stand for some reason. So. And another problem I got with some of these images, they're all stock images. You can tell because they got like freaking watermarks on them. But anyway, um, knee raises. Never done these before. But uh, it, it looks like it's definitely not the kind of exercise that you can easily do at home. It's like, it looks like the kind that you have to go to, either A, you have to go to a gym and do them. Or you have to, you really have to improvise. Um, you gotta, you gotta find something around where you live that's uh, like sticking out of a wall that's way over your head that you can hang on to. And you don't want to buy lo those um, those pull-up bars that you see at Walmart. You don't want to use those. They're the kind that uh, lock onto the top part of your door. Cause uh. Unless your door is like made of super solid construction, you're gonna rip the top. You're gonna rip the top part of that door off. So, you, yeah, you don't want to use one of those. But, uh, but uh, it's a, it's part pull-up bar, part, part knee raise bar. I guess we can go ahead and call it. But yeah, I, I had one of those for a while. I think I used it maybe once or twice. I didn't even use them for pull-ups. I think I used them for uh, push-ups actually. But like, it, but eventually, uh, it went the way of the dodo, and it just stopped using it. I think I actually donated it to the Salvation Army thrift store. So, oh, I'm taking a drink of uh, about uh, Arizona green tea. And then deadlifts, fucking S tier. In fact, if you got a job, if you got a job where you're doing a lot of heavy lifting, you're already doing this. And on top of it, they're paying you to do it. That's the beauty of it. You got a heavy lifting job, you're actually collecting a paycheck from doing deadlifts. Um, dumbbell shoulder press. 
I'm gonna say it's all right. There's there's probably better shoulder exercises out there for you that I can think of at the moment. Uh, hanging leg raise, same thing. You're gonna need some uh, either go to a gym or you're gonna have to improvise. Incline dumbbell. Um. I'm gonna say it's fucking S tier. I've, I've done this before, but as shown in the picture, you're gonna have to buy a workout bench. And you're gonna have to buy some uh, dumbbells and weights and all that, so. it's Otherwise, you're gonna have to go to a gym. So it's not something you can do on the fly. Um, lunges, I'm just gonna go ahead and say good solid exercise. You don't, actually, let me, let me rephrase that. And even then, I'm going to say it's fucking S tier, but probably going to have to have an asterisk by this. I've never done these. Um, I, the, the thumbnail they're showing actually isn't that good of one. The one I know of is, uh, is uh, you're holding uh, dumbbells and doing your lunges that way. But I, the real beauty of it, though, is... You don't have to go to a gym in order to do it. But like I said, uh, but on the downside, you're, there's gonna come a point where you can easily do those lunges. Like you could do, I mean, if, you get, if you're doing like a hundred lunges or something, then you're gonna wanna like get some kind of, you know, gonna have to grab weights or something. You're gonna have to have better resistance because your body weight isn't enough. Um, lat pull downs, it's all right. Um, one thing I did at one of the uh, the jobs I used to work at, I did a, I did kind of a form of lat pull down. Like if I had a pull, if there was like a a pallet of dog food that was stacked up on like on the the top rack on the top bins, and all that dog food had to be had to be pulled down to be brought out to a display. Um. I did kind of my own form of lat pull down where the the guy on the top rack would hand down a bag of dog food to me and I it's gonna be kind of hard to explain but I would have just I would just grab it from him and then toss it to the next guy I would uh I would have the dog I would have the bag out in front of me and I would lower it around I would lower it you know from you know above my head and then in a, in a downward motion Kind of like that, that. So, but like I said, with without that, you're gonna have to go to a gym, or again, you're gonna have to find some workout equipment in order to do this. Oh, and um, I also forgot to say about the deadlifts. If you're picking anything heavy up off the ground, and more often than not, you people do, then you're you're deadlifting it. You know. If you're helping your mommy move, and she's got a, you know, she's got a bunch of heavy, heavy stuff that you need to get into the van. Voice of experience on this. You know, you're gonna have to bend down. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to help lift up that big china cabinet. You know, you and one of your buddies, or you and your dad, or something. You know, you're gonna have to reach. You have to bend down, grab that big heavy dresser, and lift it up, and then carry it up the stairs and all that. You're deadlifting. So. You can do that. You you can you can do this, or you are doing this almost anywhere. So, but anyway, um, leg press. Um, uh, this is gonna take a while. The. At least, uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and say, good solid exercise, but not in the way that he's doing it. But I mean, if you're, if if say you're, if you if say uh, your best friend Billy Bob's F-150 truck broke down, and the nearest gas station is about a mile away, and you know if it's just. 
you and old Billy Bob that has to push his big old truck to the nearest gas station, you're leg pressing. So, I wouldn't, not, I would have considered, not quite as versatile as a deadlift. But, uh, if you're, uh, if you're pushing, if you're pushing or pulling anything heavy, you're leg pressing. But I don't, I can't, there's probably not going to be that many situations in your life where you, you're going to be doing that though. I would think that you're going to be doing a lot more deadlifting than you are leg pressing. So. Ah, uh, bench press. It's, it's the classic upper body exercise. Ah, uh, but. One, you're going to. Like I said about these other ones here, you're going to have to either A, have access to a gym, or you're going to have to buy your own bench, you're going to have to buy your own barbell and weights and all that. And then on top of that, um, there, like some of these, there's going to come a point where you can easily uh, bench press your own body weight. I mean, I got a, on my barbell, I probably have about 50, 55 pounds on the barbell. And for the few times that I've actually tried bench pressing, I mean, it, little little resistance at all. But the thing of it is, is I'm also doing this by myself. So for a bench press, you're going to need a spotter. Same goes for the uh, the do incline dumbbell bench press. There's going to come a point where you're going to need to add some weight to the bar. And doing that, it's going to become more dangerous. So you're going to need to have a buddy help, you know, spotting you. So on one end... On one end, yeah, these exercises are freaking great. I mean, like I said, bench press. That is, it's the classic upper body exercise. Um, military press. Good, solid exercise. Now, uh, um, kind of like the leg press. If you, if you're having to lift anything heavy over your head, um, like in the aforementioned example, one of the jobs that I used to work. Um, just, you know, having to say, maybe the, uh, I'm having, we're having to put a, a pallet of C and eight sugar. Like, hand, you know, hand stacking individually. Like, there was no power equipment at, this, at some of these places I worked at. So, you're going to have to heave up that case of sugar and <gasps> press it up over your head and hand it up to the, hand it up to the guy, uh, up there on the top bracket, he's gonna grab it. He's gonna stack it up. You're doing, you're doing a military press. That's what you're doing. But um, it, I wouldn't call, I wouldn't place it in S tier though, because I, again, I'm in my experience, you're far more likely to be deadlifting something than you are having to lift something super heavy over your head, especially if you're pressing it. Uh, bent over barbell. For the moment, I'm gonna say it's all right. I, the exercise is meant to, it's supposed to work out your lats or your arm. Um, or your arm, um, the middle of your back. So yeah, I'll, I'll just go ahead and leave it here. But I've, I've done this before. I've done this exercise before. I'm thinking it's probably going to be an exercise where you're going to need a buddy. Because I could, I could do a whole bunch of these. I, again, I got a... I, I mean, I've got 55 pounds on my barbell. But I can't really go any heavier because then it becomes harder for me to carry. Again, I'm doing this on my own. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking with the uh, with this, you're probably gonna need a spotter for. It. Uh plank. I've I've never seen it actually in action, but it looks like the kind of exercise you use just to show off. So down there it goes. Pull-ups, fucking S-tier. 
But, um, like I said about some of these other exercises, either A, you're going to have to go to a gym for it, or B, you're going to have to improvise. And I have tried to find something, like a bar over my head, you know, somewhere around my apartment complex. Um, and no, nothing was to be found. And again, um, I bought a pull-up bar, but I actually tried to hook it up to the top of my door. Gave it a good yank, and I'm like, uh-uh. So, no. So, like I said, but pull-ups are a freaking great exercise. But it's... You can't, you can't do it on the fly, though. Um, uh, push-ups. Good, solid exercise. Um, and I do, uh, once in a while, I'll do, uh, I'll do an incline variation. I'll have my, I'll have my legs up on my bed, the rest of my body hanging over the bed, if you can visualize that, and doing push-ups that way. Uh, but... Something else I was wanting to say about it. And um, and like these, some of these other exercises, there's gonna come a point where you're so good at doing push-ups, your your upper body strong enough to where you could do a whole bunch of them. You would almost be better off doing a bench press. You know. Hang on, I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking this through. I want to say it's down here. But again, you're gonna need some uh. Eventually, you're going to get strong enough to where, I mean, doing like hundreds of reps of push-ups, I mean, that's that's actually pretty hard on your joints, so. Doing so many of them. Um, so, yeah, I'll just go ahead and keep it here. But it's, and I, I don't like doing this. I like my tiers to be round robin tiers, or I should say round table tiers. All of them are equal in their own way. But I'm gonna, see what I'm getting, kind of what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say is push-ups are a great exercise. They're, these are flip sides. Bench press is actually better because potentially you can load more weight on it. But again, you're going to have to come up with a... You're going to have to go to a gym or you're going to have to buy a bench and all, the whole the whole kit and caboodle. Push-ups, again, not as effective. You're going to have to do more and more reps. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have to... But on, on the upside, though, you could do these almost anywhere. You know, their body... It's a body weight exercise. So... What it lacks in weight, it makes up for in versatility. Um, tricep overhead press, I'm putting down here. I have done this before, and it actually hurts my elbows. And, um... And, I mean, the push-ups... The push-ups, the bench press... These already work out your tri... These already work out your triceps to some extent. I think the military press as well. Incline dumbbell bench press. They also work out your triceps to some extent. So you don't need a you don't need the tricep overhead press. And plus, these here are safer because you're still uh you're keeping the weights around your body. Whereas uh this one here, you're you're dropping the you're uh you're dropping the weight behind your head. And again, I've done this exercise before, and it, eventually it hurts the, uh, it hurts my lower elbows. So, no. Single arm dumbbell row. Not a really big fan of single arm exercises, at least, at least at first. I mean, if you're like a, I'm thinking if you're a competitive bodybuilder, and, you know, if like, once, you know, one muscle is actually a little bigger and more developed than the other, then yeah, this, this would be the exercise to go to. 
Um, Sit-ups, I'm just going to say it's all right. But uh, and I'm going to look for any other uh, crunches. I'll just go ahead and put over here. Any more ab exercises? Keep it out. Because these two here, I mostly have them down here. Actually, no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to put them down here and I'm going to explain why. Now, Athlete X says this too, and I've been saying it long before I even discovered that YouTube channel. These aren't going to. Sit-ups and crunches aren't going to give you great abs. You know what's going to give you great abs? Not eating so damn much. And I'm not being... And, and I'm not being a hypocrite here. I'm a, you know, I'm a junk food junkie and, you know, I'm pretty well overweight and I'm hurtling towards obesity right now. So, but for me to... I can't really do these because, I mean, and anybody else that has a pretty big gut, they're not going to be able to do these properly anyway because you're not going to be able to get the full range of motion because your gut's in the way. So, but the whole... Now, if you already have a... If you already have a flat stomach, um, fine, great, but it's just this whole... The whole myth. I mean, it, the shit's all over the media. Get great washboard abs in only 30 days. I mean, no, that's a load of BS. I mean, look, you know... Look at the people around you. We got an obesity problem in this country. And I'll bet a lot of those obese people are thinking just that. They're gonna go down, they're gonna go home, or they're gonna see that advertisement. Really? I can have washboard abs in 30 days? All right. And he's gonna lay on the floor and he's gonna try doing these, but he ain't gonna be able to do shit because he can't go up all the way because he's got this big old belly in the way. You know, and then he's gonna get frustrated and he's gonna, th he's gonna think it's all his fault. So, so sit-ups and crunches only matter when, you know, get your diet in order. If, you know, and then maybe, maybe you can have these exercises up out of the ass category. So, again, I have these down here mostly because of the, um, of the, the BS myth that, it, that these perpetuate. So, take out another drink. Um, but as far as the effectiveness in and of themselves, I don't know. I'd probably put them in. It's all right. I, I hardly do these. Now, something else I forgot to forgot to mention too is uh, I don't know if uh, I've never heard the question asked before, but um, if you are overweight, is it still a good idea to train your abs? To this day, I still don't know the answer to it. But again, I'm kind of going off the top of my head. If you're if you're already obese, you're not going to get the full range of motion on these anyway because your gut's in the way. So. And plus, something else too. I'm um, looking at this guy as well. You um, there's actually a certain way. Again, when you see these on TV. You're pretty much seeing it exactly the way this guy and I think this girl is doing it with the hands behind your head. That's where you don't want it because you're actually putting extra pressure on the back of your neck. I, I believe you're supposed to you're, have, you're supposed to cross your arms in front of you while you're while you're doing it. But like I said, most of these commercials that you see on TV, TV, internet, they're all doing sit-ups with their arms behind their neck. So. So, uh, but unless maybe somebody in the YouTube comments or something can prove me otherwise on this, like, like can you like can you be overweight or obese and still do these? I wouldn't think so. So, oh, and uh, skull crushers. I'm gonna put that down there too. I've tried doing these, and I think I had this. It's, I only did them one time. But I think I had the same result as the uh, tricep overhead press. Too much pressure on my elbows. But, 
Squats fucking S tier. Um and again, if you're if you're working a if you're working at a job where you're doing a lot of heavy lifting, or if you're having to help your relative having your having to help your friends and relatives moves, you're doing squats. You know, you gotta it's almost the inverse of a, a it's the inverse of a deadlift. You know, you had to help pick up your mom's china cabinet. You had to pick that up and carry it from point A to point B. The lifting up part is the deadlift. But now, now that you're carrying it, you got to set it down someplace. So what you're doing, what you're doing there are squats. Because you have to bring it down carefully. You can't just drop it, you'll break it, you know. But you got to bring it down carefully and set it down gently. What you just did was a squat. Um, so tricep pull down. I'm gonna say it's all right, because unlike these two exercises, the tricep overhead press and the skull crushers, you're keeping your arms in front of you. You're not putting them behind your head. So, but again, I I can only I can't really recall me ever doing tricep pull downs. Um, again, push ups, bench presses. Um, maybe the military press, but you know, all of these could also work out your triceps as well. Yeah, you know, it, it. So to me, not as fundamental as as uh, the the presses, because only the triceps are getting worked, not your whole upper body. It's, but again, it's still it's to me it's it, it's safer than these other two down here. Um, so, um, because I've gone almost 45 minutes on this, I'm just going to give a quick answer on treadmill, it's ass. Why? Go outside. You know, you, you don't, now, unless it's like super bitterly cold out, or something like that, or if it's raining, pouring, or you know, that kind of thing. I could probably, I could probably see it, but you know, go outside and jog. You know, go do some road work. But I, again, if for some reason you can't do it, I guess. But you know, road work is free, because these treadmills ain't cheap, unless you go to a, unless you go to a thrift store and find one for like ten bucks or something. Um. Bicycle machine, I'm going to go ahead and say that as well. Or, but yeah, I'm, for the sake of time, um, stair climber, you know, you know, bicycle machine, you know, go buy a bike. But I, like I said, I'm trying to save time here. Although I, yeah, I'll, You'd have to go out. You'd have to go out and buy a bike. You know, I have to go out and buy a bicycle. So I'd say, if for Joe, what the hell are you saying? Oh, back down here. You know, I mean, you might as well just buy a bike and go outside. You know, it's, it's got to be a lot more scenic than, uh, you know, riding a riding a bicycle machine while. Wa you know, wa watching a nature hike video on YouTube or something, you know. Um, stair climber, same thing. You don't, you don't need it. I mean, there's got to be some steps around where you live. You know, or, I mean, hell, I got three flights of, I got, actually, technically, I got six flights of steps in my apartment complex. I mean, I got plenty. I got all the steps I need. I mean, in fact, uh, for in fact, uh, I'll, I guess I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and mention it now. But it's called the yeah, torment me no longer. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and type it down.
Well, here, let me up. All right, so it's gonna it's gonna look a little messy here at first. They call it a farmer's walk, I call it a farmer's carry. But for a time when I was doing these and just gonna go ahead and throw it up in here because it is fucking S tier. But for, for the time that I was doing uh, farmer's carries, I was actually doing them uh, going up and down, going up and down the steps. I mean, I got, I mean, I got stairs involved, so. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that. I'll be scrolling it up and down, so it, it'll, yeah, I'll go ahead and get rid of it for the moment. But yeah, but that farmer's carry is fucking S tier. Because you're work, you're working out, a, I mean, you're working out your upper body. I mean, you're also working out your arms and, uh, uh, kind of like the, the squats kind of like the squats there's actually variations of it and I've done I've done different kinds like you can work out your shoulders a little more if you like if you hold the weights farther away from your sides your shoulders get a little bit of your little bit of a workout too um a big hub if you if you do it if you hold the dumbbells in such a way to point them downward um, I think uh, you could also work out your triceps a little bit. Um, okay, well, I'm trying to think of some other ways I've done it. Um, if you uh, if you hold the dumbbells up, I uh, sorry I can't. It's very hard for me to explain, but if you hold the dumbbells upward, you can actually work out your biceps a little bit. Um, if you uh. You're gonna need more weight than normal for this, but if you hold the weight, if you do, you know, if you shrug your shoulders, kind of like you know, working your traps, you know, they're called shrugs. Do your farmer's carry with you know, shrugging your shoulders. You're kind of working out your, uh, you're working out your upper back a little bit too. So, um, squats, kind of the same thing. Um, mainly what I do now are sumo squats. I do them with my, um, instead of a. Uh, Instead of having the toes pointed forward, like this guy has, and ha having kind of a kind of a medium stance, do a wide stance, kind of like the way the sumo wrestlers look like. You know, their toes are pointed outward. Their stance is wide. Those are sumo squats. Those are the ones I do. They uh, work out more of your inner thigh. I mean, I don't, I don't need my thighs worked out anymore. Not from having to do uh, heavy lifting for so many years. Gotta move along. Um, bicep curl. <sighs> All-time classic. Um, I'm more of a I'm more of a hammer curl kind of person. That's where instead of holding it like he's holding it, um, you hold it. Uh, I guess just like a hammer. You know, instead of uh, your palms facing you, the the top of your hand is facing you. That kind of thing. It's it's the hammer curl. But, and, um, the, yeah, that's all-time classic arm exercise right there. And just like the squats, you can do different variations of it. You don't even have to have your palms facing you. You can do it the other way, and you'll actually, uh, you work out some of your forearms as well. So, so yeah, good solid exercise. Um, 
And um, there's also, I forgot to do, there's also a... Uh, Again, if you're at a if you're at a job that uh, requires a lot of heavy lifting you're already doing plenty of bicep curls you know you got to reach down and grab that that heavy whatever and then you have to like you have to like pick it up and then carry it, it you know not like lifting a whole china cab I'm trying to think of something else like if you're if your grandma has a, a super heavy base you know that Maybe, um, oh, I'm trying to think of something else. Um, maybe like a, a much, you know, like a much, a super heavy end table or something, you know. You know, you're not, not really enough for you to really uh, put your whole entire body into it. But, you know, like if, you, if you're just going to pick something up with your arms, you've are, you're already doing a bicep curl. Body weight squats, fucking S tier, just like the squats. Um, but there's there's gonna come a point where you're gonna become strong enough to where you know the do your own body weight ain't gonna be enough. You are gonna have to you are gonna have to switch to squats. You're gonna have to get some weight on there. So uh, burpees, just gonna go ahead and say it's ass. Just too many moving parts involved. I I find it easier to just do this as like three separate exercises. That way, so you can you can focus on you can focus on each one of them. You know, trying to be safe and stuff. Like I said, there's too many moving parts in a burpee, though. Um, chest dips. Fucking S tier. Um, but on the downside, either A, you're going to have to find a gym, or B, you're going to have to improvise. Um, chest dips, they're my favorite chest exercise, but I do them off. I do them off my kitchen counter. And I'll, I'll have my leg, I'll, I'll have my uh, arms, like, on the kitchen counter, and then I'll have my legs uh, propped up against the uh, mini counter across from me, and just do my dips that way. So... Um, chest press. I guess it's all right. Speak of that, where did I put... Where are the pull-ups at? Oh, there they are. But, I mean... But a, a chest... It, Basically an up, it's basically an upright bench press. I'm glad to have it down here and ass. It just I don't understand. I think it just look it looks like it's just more of a fancy a fancy bench press. It, to me it, it it feels pointless to do something like this, like an upright bench press. I mean if if you already have a I mean, if you already got a bench, I Lord knows why you'd wanna Lord knows why you'd wanna spend spend your hard earned money on a machine that's only gonna do one thing. So, you know, and I can't imagine these kind of machines being cheap. Going out buying a bench, barbell, and some weights, I would think that's going to be a hell of a lot cheaper than buying a chest press machine. So, it, and plus, what is it? There's no gravity involved. That's that's the other thing. With gravity, you don't need to have as much weight on there. Because again, oh, good old Mother Nature. You know, good old Mother Nature and Isaac do it, and Isaac Newton's doing all the work for you, or a lot of it anyway. So it seems like a pointless exercise. Um, chin ups, same thing. They're fucking S tier. They work out a lot of muscles, but on the downside, either either 
either have access to a gym or you're gonna have to you're gonna have to figure something out. Um, Dead Hank, same thing. I think um I watched a Joe Rogan podcast and he mentioned this. This has gotta be this has gotta be the best way to stretch your muscles right here. Just simply hang off a bar. But again, just like pull-ups and chin-ups and a lot of these others, unless you unless you got a gym membership, you better be real creative. You, you know, you, if you can't find you know if you can't find what you're looking for, then the dead hang is dead on arrival. There you have it. Um, here's so this is my exercise tier list. Um, and again, I don't, I don't mind constructive criticism on this. Uh, some of this I'm going by experience. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a workout expert. Again, I'm just, I'm going with what I know. Um, if, if somebody wanted to, somebody wanted to prove me wrong on some of these, feel free. Just all I ask is you give me a good explanation and. Don't just say you're obviously you're ignorant or anything like that. I mean, so. But otherwise, um, that's gonna do it. Um, but <laughs> it's been almost an hour. It's a good thing I started this early. But otherwise, well, thanks for uh, tuning in, and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. Um, and I, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. Which will be the last one for the week. So, but until then, thanks again for coming around, everybody. And see you all next time. Bye for now.